So hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new, hello or welcome. I'm Jack, but when I'm in drag I go by Luna Rose, cause I'm the flower that blooms at night. And as you can read from the title of today's video, we're going to be doing my yearly favourites, kind of a best in beauty, holy grail makeup products. So I thought it was only fitting to throw on my golden star crown as well as golden star earrings. And without further ado, let's get into some favourite products, shall we? So my first favourite is you guys. I just want to give a huge shout out to you guys in this video and just say thank you so much for sticking with me. Thank you for subscribing to me. Thank you for like following me and my makeup journey and just watching me enjoy something that I love which is the art form of drag. I love makeup so much. I love drag so much and I just want to give a huge shout out to you guys in this video for just being <sighs> patient with me with all the love on recent videos and just everything to do with my channel. I just want to give a huge shout out to you guys and thank you so much. Now let's talk about makeup. So I'm going to do my favourites as like I would do my makeup. So up first is primer. I have two primers to mention today that I absolutely love. They are both tried and true like holy grail makeup products. I am very much a creature of habit and once I find like a product that works for me I kind of just like stick to it and just keep using it. So my first holy grail favourite is my Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I have mentioned this so many years in a row in so many different favourites videos and used it in so many different tutorials. It just gives the skin like a really nice soft glow glow like lit from within and keeps it nice and hydrated so I'm um, love horror and then the second product is a newer find to me and it is the Smashbox Primerizer. I get really like dry and textured skin particularly when I'm doing like really heavy makeup so it's always nice to have like a nice hydrated kind of smoothing base and this really does it for me. It keeps my skin nice and hydrated without making it like super oily so um these two are my favorite primers of the year girl. So after I prime my skin, I like to go in and colour correct my beard area, just so like my 5 o'clock shadow doesn't show through as much. I have very like dark and fast growing facial hair, so um, it's gonna kind of slightly show through anyway. But a product that I found that really helps to like diminish it and just help colour correct that area is the Give Face Cosmetics Beard Blocker. I use this in pretty much every single like makeup transformation and it really does just help kind of like combat the greyer like 5 o'clock shadow tones that would like really show through if I didn't use it. So, um, holy grail, use it all the time. I really like the formula and it's super affordable. So, um, bargain. I've also had this tin like two years now and, um, I still got a lot left, girl. So I normally leave my colour corrector to kind of sit on my skin and go on to the next step of makeup, which is now doing my brows. I recently shaved off my brows completely, so now I draw them on however I feel like when I'm in drag. And a product that I found that really works for me to do my brows and just is long lasting and kind of like easy to use is the Kat Von D Super Brow. I had the blonde shade for quite a while in like my cupboard and just never really like reached for it. But since I've shaved off my brows, this pomade is so good that I literally picked up like five different colours of it. So um, yeah, it's a really good brow product. It lasts a good time. It's waterproof and um, works now that I don't have brows to um, just lightly fill in. So my base is kind of the same it's been since I started doing drag like four years ago on my channel, which is the Cryolan TV Paint Sticks. I like to use 3W for my base foundation. I like to use ivory under my eyes with a little bit of 406 to brighten. And then I will use 7W with a little bit of 10W to contour. These are just super good full coverage, like heavy, heavy, heavy drag kind of makeup. So if you're looking for something that's a lot like softer and subtle and just like that daytime foundation, this definitely definitely ain't it. This is full on like pancake cake face, cover up pretty much everything you would want. So um, yeah, my base is pretty much always going to stay true to my Cryolanic TV paint sticks. Once I've got all my base on and blended out, I like to go in with powder and my favourite powder is still my Coty Loose Air Spun Powder. I picked this up from Amazon for like £12 and I like to go for the extra coverage translucent version. I do find that it does give a little bit of like a kind of greyer, kind of more ashy toned cast to it once it's like baked into the skin. So normally I will go over it with like a foundation powder just to kind of like warm up my skin and like brush off the excess. But um... Super affordable, one tub lasts me like months and months of doing drag, so um, yeah, perfect powder, sets it nice in place and keeps it kind of set the whole day, so um, still my favourite girl. 
So once all my base is nicely set in place, I like to go in and start off my eye look. Eyeshadow is by far my favourite part of my makeup routine. It's the part I look forward to most, the part that I find the most interesting to like do and play and watch. So um, yeah, I have quite a few palettes to mention today, but um, I can't help it. I literally own so many eyeshadow palettes and um, I'm going to keep buying more. But my holy grail favourite palette is definitely the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette. I think I mentioned this in my last year's favourites as well, but um, I just absolutely love this palette. It has all the shades that I absolutely love in it. I have like literally worn this palette in so many different ways, shapes and forms on my channel and it's just very much a tried and true, really good eyeshadow palette and the formula is incredible. Like. Literally, can't say it any other way. Another palette that is a newer find to me that I absolutely love is the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. I really like this if I'm going to be doing more colourful looks, since, um, girl, she has a lot of colour in it. But my favourite shade actually in the palette is, ironically, the matte white shade in the corner. I use this pretty much every single time I'm going to highlight my brow bone, since I just love the formula of the shadow so much, and it just seems to work really well. But, um... Yeah, definitely if I'm going to play in colour, this is by far my favourite palette of this year. It's a palette that I've used in multiple different transformations, and um, I'm going to carry on using in multiple more other transformations. Another kind of eyeshadow palette slash brand that I really want to mention in today's favourites is from Gear Face Cosmetics, and it's their construction palettes. I bought and built all of these, like, four palettes myself, and literally every single shadow that I've used from any of them have blown me away. The blue-green palette that I made on their website is by far my favourite palette. I've used this in multiple different blue transformations and I just really like their formula. I really like them as a brand and their quality and like price is incredible. Like I think these are literally like £20 each and you get to customise like whatever shade you want in them. So um yeah I freaking love it. I've used these a lot on my channel and um Definitely deserve a mention. So once my eyes are complete, I like to go back in and kind of finish off the rest of my face makeup and bring some definition back into this um, round hamster face. I'm fairly sure you guys can guess what my favourite contour palette is since I use it in literally every single video, but it is my Makeup Revolution Highlighting Contour Kit. This is literally only like £4 and it's usually on sale to like £2, so um, a complete bargain. I already have two backups in like my makeup storage behind me, but I use this shade that I've very much heavily hit pan on literally every single time I do a chest contour, a face contour, a nose contour, or even just to start off kind of the colour in my crease as a nice transition tone. I just absolutely love this. I think the only like colour in this palette that I don't really ever reach for is the kind of shimmery glittery highlight shade, but even that is pretty. I just prefer other formulas, but um, yeah, I literally use this all the time. Very much tried and true, very much affordable, and the quality is there, and it works, girl. Like, it works. After I've chiseled and contoured my face to perfection, I like to go in and heavily apply blush. Blush is probably, like, my second favourite, like, step of makeup apart from eyeshadow, and, um... You guys have seen this palette in pretty much every single transformation I've ever done. These are all Makeup Geek blushes and I use them all the time very heavily since blush and like flush cheeks is just everything to me. So um, yeah, my favourite blush of 2019 is definitely just from Makeup Geek. I don't really have a particular colour that I like reach for the most since generally I just mix together a whole shit ton of them. But um, yeah, by far the formula and like everything to do with these Makeup Geek blushes is... um top notch and definitely my favourite. So once I've rosied up my face, I like to go in and add some glow and sparkle to it. And my favourite highlighter is my Flexitarian Highlighter from Colourpop. I believe I've mentioned this like the last two years in a row, but it really is such a holy grail highlighter to me. It really gives like a really intense, like bright, like blinding bitch ass glow, which I love all of my chest, body, cheeks, everywhere if I want something intense. Another palette that I seem to use all the time in transformations is my Anastasia Glow Kit. However, the two that I have aren't available anymore, so um, I'm not going to mention it in today's video. But something else that I use pretty much on a daily basis, which I don't get why I don't show much on my channel, is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I literally use this every single day as an inner corner highlight as like just general boy makeup. So I just go in with a little brush and just tap it on the inner corners of my eyes. But I really like this as a highlight in general and I really need to start wearing it a lot more like on my channel in drag since 
I literally wear this all the time, girl. So once my face makeup is done, I like to finish off with lips, and I like to start with a lip liner, just to like nicely overdraw and make my lips look a little bit bigger, a little bit more draglicious. And my favourite lip liners by far are the BH Cosmetics lip liners. These are like so creamy and delicious and just like glide on so smoothly and so easily, like even if I'm wearing like multiple layers of Krylon TV paint stick and powder, this literally just like to perfection. There's like a perfect lip liner. So um, yeah, these last really well. They are waterproof, long wearing and delicious. And I think they're only like four pounds each. So again, quality's there and a complete bargain. My favourite lipsticks are generally nude lipsticks, like, um, girl, let's be real, nude lipsticks are where it's at with me. And my favourite two are Flesh Pot and Honey Love from MAC. I've mentioned these time and time again on my channel, worn them time and time again on my channel. They are just two basic nude lipsticks, and I'm actually wearing them mixed on my lips right now. I normally like to go in with Honey Love on the outside and then a Flesh Pot in the centre, just to give me a little bit more, like, juicy like poutiness to my lips but um I love the formula of these I love the scent of these and MAC lipsticks are like an OG holy grail like products like girl they're good and then a full gloss my favorite lip gloss is the MAC myth lip gloss again I'm wearing it on my lips today and I just love how like juicy and like Ooh, it makes your lips look like this gives you full-on DSL lips in like two seconds flat So um again love the formula love the scent love everything about it and um I'll continue to wear this I really want to pick up a lot more shades of the lip glasses since they're so like thick and kind of gloopy But it really works for giving like Those kind of lips, you know, so um yeah by far my holy grail favorite and my most used lip gloss is the math Meth meth mac myth lip glass girl and then finally, to finish off my makeup, I like to go in with a setting spray just to kind of like melt all the powders and like products and everything together. And my favourite is the MAC Fix Plus Setting Spray. This is probably like my fifth or sixth bottle of this now since I love it, I purchase it all the time. I pretty much use it every single time I'm going to like do any form of makeup or just even alone. So um, yeah, by far a holy grail and like needed product to me. So yeah, that completes my holy grail best in beauty of 2019. Like I said, I'm very much a creature of habit. I'm fairly sure you guys could have guessed so many of these products that I mentioned today. They are just products that I've tried like over and over again that always seem to work for me and I always seem to end up going back to even if I try different products. So um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any other products I should be checking out or what you guys like think are your holy grails and um, I'll be sure to try them. And and don't forget to subscribe to a bitch and hit that notification bell to tell you when I upload. There should be one new video every single Monday, 10 p.m. at Greenwich Mean Time. But um, like I said, make sure that bell's hit because there's bound to be bonus days. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.